I'm having fun at Comcast. <laughs> but thank you for watching me. Thank you for downloading me. And thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please, 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 please me. Oh, yeah. Uh, subscribe if you want. If you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. I can't make you subscribe. I'd love to have everybody subscribe, but, you know, the chances that, you know, it's not likely that everyone's going to want to. Um, so thank you for watching. Subscribe, you're unsubscribed. Give me the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up button. So today's video is a commentary on a division of a company called Comcast. Ooh, look at her face. Mm. Looks like a piranha. <laughs> I'm having fun at Comcast. <laughs> <laughs> so Comcast is a major uh, telecommunications provider here in, in the United States and around the world. I don't know if they're international, but I know they're here in the U.S. And they have a subdivision or division, which is called Xfinity. And I'm going to do a video about their call center. Comcast is a telecommunications cable company. And as of 2021, they had 189,000 employees. Not as many as AT&T, which has 330,000 employees. But 189,000 is a boatload of employees. At the end of the fourth quarter of December 2021, their revenue ending that quarter was 30 Point three three six billion, which is a nine point four eight increase over the previous year, or year over year. It says here, so they make they make a good sizable uh, amount of money. So I was looking at a, at a at a description here for customers. This is Comcast. Uh, it's a virtual assistant, which I think it means you work from home. It's it's a fancy way of saying you get to work from home. The heart, of the, the heart of our customer experience at Comcast, we believe the customer experience is our single most important product. Ugh. And providing a simple and intuitive support experience is critical. Our customer experience representatives, so they, they don't call them customer care, they're customer experience representatives. Oh, nice. What is a customer experience representative? They're at the heart of our interactions with customers, meeting them in the technology medium. They prefer, of course, they don't try to shove any technology down their throats, do they, on these calls? Of course not. Comcast, they're a good, upstanding, you know, great company. Ensuring a positive interaction each and every time, no matter if the customer's calling you a cocksucking monkey. We're looking for passionate people. Passion, you have to be passionate. I'm passionate, I'm so passionate about customer service. Yes, I'm so passionate. Who can deliver a customer experience that fundamentally changes how our customers manage, resolve issues, and learn about our products and services. Crafting these solutions will combine an understanding of product, technology, and process with a hyper focus. With a hyper focus. Oh, I'm hyper focused. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to help you with your HDMI cable now. <laughs> I love it. You're putting it in. Put it in. Oh, put it in slow. Put it in slow. On the customer journey. It's the customer journey. Oh, they're on a little journey. Yay. Yay, they're on a journey. But which is the way back to Kansas? I mean, they're asking you basically to be like the Christ of customer service in this description. I mean, you have to be passionate, hyper-focused on the customer journey, touch points to deliver a simple, easy digital experience. Now, um, if you've ever tried to talk to a retiree or somebody who's like 70, 80, 90 years old on the phone about their digital experience, good luck. The desired result is a transformative transformative i told you you have to transform you have to get them to to be born again to the comcast way and i said can you say comcast can you say baby 
Hey, man, you are saved by Comcast. You're transformed. I see. I see the light of Comcast. You are the Jesus of telecommunications. I can tell you now. So, um, so I'm going to talk about a, a, a video that's from a division of theirs called Xfinity. And Xfinity is the division that handles internet, TV streaming, mobile, home. I know home basically looks like it's um, home security, probably videos and things like that, and phone. This video is another one of these wonderfully highly polished, highly choreographed, highly produced productions to try to get people to believe that Comcast is heaven, is the heavenly place you'd want to come to work. Here you go. Here It's a three-minute video. I'm going to comment on it as, as it goes. But they start off with a nature scene. Hey, we're in nature. The sun is rising. I'm energized. And here comes the upbeat music in a major key. Happy, happy, go, go. Boom. Coming into work. Oh, I'm taking a little hand clap. The culture here at Comcast is. Look at this guy walking in. He is just strutting in. He is just so happy to be at Comcast. The ninth fresh spick and span lobby. Hey, I'm happy to be at Comcast. See, they want you to think that's just what it's like. He's coming in all by himself. When I came in, there was like a group of us kind of coming in from the parking lot like a bunch of zombies. Oh, guys putting out their cigarettes, you know. Oh, and they walk in. Oh, we're back to work, you know. They're not walking like this. Nobody walks in like this from their car. Hey, man, I'm at Comcast. I'm at, I'm at Verizon, baby. <laughs> all right, so let, let's go back. Let's go back to our guy walking in. He's walking in. He's happy. He's a happy guy. Cass is more of like a family. Everyone. Oh, more like a family. Come on. It's a, that is the, you know, and I know, I don't even know if this guy is really an employee or not. He probably is. And he, and he's been told to say this stuff. He's been, he's, it's very choreographed and highly polished. It's more like a family, man. Yeah. Look at this, this lady over here. It's, it's, of course he's waving at no one. There's no one over there. Because the cameraman and the production and the director and the producer said, hey, wave like you're having a good time. Come in strutting like you're young and you're full of hyper focused, passionate energy. Hey, you don't have a family in these places because there's no time to get to know anyone. There's just not. It makes everyone feels welcome. Oh, make every Oh, see. And this is another company emphasizing uh, diversity in the workplace, which is great. That's awesome. But they're really pushing it hard. AT and T and this company are, are really basically saying, "Hey, if you're African American and you want a fun family environment where everybody's giving high fives and doing this and you know, the fancy handshake, come to Comcast, man. You're gonna fit right in. You know, no matter the uh oh Jesus, it doesn't happen. This does not happen in a call center. I'm sorry if you're African American. I'm not making fun of you, but." They're, they're trying to tell you that you're going to have this great brotherly love in the call center, and you're just not. It doesn't work that way. A position or title, you know, everyone is treated equally. What? Oh, everyone's treated equally. Okay, so so there's an agenda. There's a huge agenda here. They're pushing equality and diversity in the workforce, and that is the biggest fucking lie in a call center. The biggest lie. There is no equality, and there's favoritism. There's nepotism. There's all kinds of isms in the call center, and they're bad. It's a bad, disgusting, despicable atmosphere, and nobody is equal. And if you get on somebody's bad side in this call center or any call center, you're screwed. You will never get promoted. You'll never get to, to shift bed. You'll never get out of that spot, period. That is the truth. When I first started working here, I walked in this building. I was kind of taken back. We have our own. Oh, now they bring in the melee. You ever notice this in, in the one for AT and T? They're bringing the the strutting white black people, the people dressed nice, and then they're bringing the white person. Yeah, I like working at Comcast. I'm a mealy toast white boy with a big gauge earring in my left ear. Mm hmm. Jim, uh, we have a. Oh, they got a gym now. Verizon had a gym. Verizon had a cafeteria. Now here's the catch to this. Now the gym is open all the time, but anytime I went to the gym, there was a gym. Another company I worked at too, but I can't remember where that was. It might have been at Chase. Chase used to be Bank One. I worked at Bank One, and then it was Chase. But the gym at Verizon 
always had the same people working out in it. And there was always this one guy who was always in there. So it's, it's like oh, this white guy. So he was looking at himself in the mirror. He he do his curls. <laughs> Yeah, look at that bicep, buddy. Look at it. I am iron hard, brother. And then the cafeterias in these places, they close at 4 o'clock. So if you work second shift, you're screwed. You're never going to eat in this restaurant if you're second or third shift. It won't be open. They open for breakfast like at 6 in the morning, and they close at 4. So all the people that work in the cafeteria can go home and have dinner. You will not get to use these restaurants and these call centers if you work second or third shift. And if your first shift, the line is out the door to get food. And if you only got half an hour to get off the phones, go get your lunch and eat it, you'll be in line for 20 minutes before you get your food. You'll have 10 minutes to eat it, and then you have like 30 seconds to go back and get your seat and log into the phones. They walk downstairs with our cafeterias and just plenty of places to lounge around when you need to take a break. A typical day for me, I come in, I clock into the phone, get on my computer. So they're, they're pushing a diversity thing, which is fine, because the corporate world is horrified of being sued by minorities. They're horrified of not having the right mix of people. And so they're trying to show, hey, hey, we're showing, they're showing the rest of the world is out there with their attorneys waiting to sue them. Hey, we're, we're. There's equal diversity. There's diversity here. There's equality here. Come on in and work for Xfinity Comcast. Computer, I check my email, um, check to see if there's any updates as far as the line of business. And then I auto in and I start. She autos in. So in order for you get to get to work and check your emails, I think she says she checks her emails. Business and then I auto in and I start to get calls. Yeah, you got to get to work about a half an hour early if you want to read your emails. You have to get, like, if you're supposed to be there at 3, you need to be there at 2.30, you logged in at 2.30, start reading through your emails, because it's going to take about a half an hour to go through all the crap you get in your email in the corporate world. I get super excited for Xfinity Mobile. He gets super excited. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so super excited. Look at me. This guy does not look excited, but he says he's super excited. Because it's an amazing service. and <gasps> It's amazing service. He loves it so much. Super excited. I'm super excited. Yay. There's a lot of pride that goes into the service and the products that we offer our customers. It's exclusively for our Comcast. Now look at the fast editing. Boom. 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 They want you to think exciting. It's funny. So if you're young, the editing is fast like this because they want to entice you. They want to seduce you and to think this is a fun, exciting place. If you're... If your claim to fame is this. Would you like fries with that? 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 Hey, would you like flies with that? Oh, oh damn it. This is going to look like heaven to you. There's three people smiling. They're smiling. Having a good time. Look at the lady in the red flower shirt. She's like, oh, is that a horse and a man? <laughs> Exclusively for. There. Yeah, oh. You're all sitting there, little meeting. Hands folded on the table, little water bottle. Looking focused, hyper-focused on everything. They're hyper-focused and they're very passionate about what they're doing. Look at the passion in their eyes. Look at the passion in their eyes. You've never worked in a corporation. They have these huge... They're basically like in high school, the pep rallies they'd have in high school before a football game. Or, you know, if you if you grew up in the Midwest and out west too, but out in the Midwest, we'd have these huge pep rallies for the football team where they'd run through a paper banner and I know sacrifice a chicken on the fifty yard line and stuff. They have these pep rallies that are just they're just uh Town Hall is actually a monthly event that we have. We have business So so the town hall they give people time off the phones. And they get everybody in one area. <clears throat> and the and the president of the company sometimes would show up. Or the usually it's the director. It's the director of the call center will stand up there and give some yay raw speech about numbers and how we've met our goals as a call center or how we're this far off and how important it is that we make it. It's yay raw raw stuff. Business updates. We celebrate birthdays. And- oh, look at this. These guys, this is where they used to work. Hello? I'll have a, a, a cheeseburger with no ketchup. And I'll also have 
Would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that? Oh, people in uniforms, people in dinosaur uniforms. It's so cute. It's so exciting. Yay. <laughs> they think I'm going to go work at Comcast. And activities. And oh, look, they're popping balloons. Get oh, I got to squeeze a balloon between my knees. Oh. <laughs> look at this. Look, look at this schmuck. In front of the whole company and this manager over here is like, it was so much fun. They're hyper focused on fun. Yay. <laughs> oh. Opportunity for us to get together and give recognition for our employees. They give you li these little printouts. They print out a Kinko's or something. It's, they have a little gold star on them. It's it's really stupid. It's just you know, it's degrading. It's <laughs> it, it takes all your dignity away. It's it's dignity stripping shit. If you're a grown person. Treat me like a goddamn grown person. Give me the money. Give me good benefits. Give me a healthy, healthy place to work where I can go home at night and not want to slip my wrists. Please. But they don't do that, these call centers. They treat you like a fucking moron all the time, thinking it's fun. Instead of giving me pizza and giving me little eight and a half by 11 printouts and giving me balloon squishing to, uh, presentations give me some goddamn money and treat me with some fucking respect that's what i want in these call centers but they won't do it so the extended mobile swat team see they bring back the the, the mealy mouth white person say i really like to work here because uh, it helps me pay for the gauges in my ears <laughs> team, uh, we have a lot of things we do on the back end customers having on the back end who what are you doing on the back end there the leadership is very very down to earth i mean um, you know the leadership is down to earth now, he's implying that they're approachable, that they're down to earth. They don't have a lot of attitude and they might be approachable. But if you if you cross anybody in leadership position in a call center or if they don't like you for some reason, you're done. You're done. I've experienced it. I've experienced it. And um, you can't you cannot. If you want some advice from me, if you're going to work in a call center, keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. I don't care if they've got, you know. Vice grips on your thumbs and they're crushing them. Just say, hey, that feels great. Can I go back to my desk now? You cannot complain in a call center because these people who are managers are backstabbing weasels and they will fuck you over in the blink of an eye. You know, instead of coming in and, um, you know, just a quick wave or a quick goodbye, you know, they, they come over to give you high five. No, they don't, dude. No, they don't. At the end of the day, you don't even want to high five from somebody. I'm sorry. I guess I'm kind of an antisocial person, but when when my day ended in the call center, I wanted nobody to talk to me. The quicker I could get to my car, the better. And if this is a real call center in Tucson, this is really how they get it set up. It's a nice setup. This is a nice setup for these young people to work in. It really is. I plan on staying with Comcast. I love it here. I love the benefits. I love the culture. And learn. Oh, they're hugging. They're hugging. Oh, yay. They're hugging. Loving here. I love the benefits. I love the culture. Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. The lady in the flower chair is hugging me. Woohoo. And learning more about my job and where it's. Oh, they're playing ping pong again. I guarantee you this. If those people behind them back here are on phones with customers and they hear these two schmucks playing ping pong in the background. The customers be like, who's playing ping pong in the background? You guys working or you fucking around? They would not have a ping pong table this close to the phones. I guarantee it. They pulled this into the shot out of a out of a room somewhere closer to the to the restaurant. That's Comcast. That's Xfinity and their Comcast and um, their Xfinity call center. You know, I just in closing want to say these videos are designed, I, I, in my opinion, this is nothing I've researched, but in my opinion, they're designed to appeal to a certain segment of the population, young people, young people who are enticed by glossy, highly produced videos. It, it, it looks sexy. They got people that are having fun, giving high fives, hugging, having a good time. And it's designed just like the military used it in those recruiting videos for the National Guard, the Navy, the Marines, to pull the young people in. So that that's my review of Xfinity's Comcast recruitment video. Let me know what you think. 
in the comments. Uh, if you have other ideas, um, please let me know. Give me the thumbs up. I'll talk to you later on PT Pop. I'm going to sign off now. You guys all have a good day. Thanks. Bye.